Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit subscribe. You're not going to want to miss my interview with Nolan Ryan. And plus, if you're a baseball fan, you should be subscribed anyway. So hit subscribe, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Justin Verlander, who had eight strikeouts in six innings, giving up only one run. He had these wicked sliders, his overpowering fastball, and these nasty curveballs. His ERA this season, 2.00. Jordan Lyles had these wicked breaking balls. Trevor Williams had this filth, including this sinker that ran 19 inches. He had seven strikeouts and seven scoreless innings, giving up only two hits. Ruansi Contreras had seven strikeouts and six innings, giving up only one run, and had these nasty sliders and swords. Tony Gonsolin ran his record to 11-0. He had three Ks and in seven innings thanks to these six splitters. His ERA on the season, 1.62. Joe Musgrove had 6 Ks and 7 one-hit innings, giving up no runs. And look at these vicious breaking balls. His incredible ability to spin a baseball is one of the reasons Joe Musgrove is right in the Cy Young hunt. He went up against Logan Webb, who also pitched great, giving up one run in 8 innings and allowing only 2 hits. While he pitched great, he only had 2 strikeouts. Not the eight or more we were hoping for, but that's life. He was really solid all night. Bo Brisky had four strikeouts in six and a third innings, giving up no runs and only two hits. His slider, sinker, and changeup all were working. Speaking of sliders, Dylan Cease had eight Ks in six innings, giving up only one run, and his slider was on point. He has more swings and misses on this slider than any other pitcher has on their sliders this season. Opponents are only hitting 139 against this slider, and it's got a 47% whiff rate, and he throws it a lot, almost as much as his fastball. And I like this bow after a K. Haters are going to say he was ducking because he thought his catcher was throwing the ball down, but I like the idea of the bow better. My filthiest starter yesterday, that was Spencer Strider. The man is absolutely electric. Strider had 12 strikeouts in six innings, giving up only two hits and no runs. You might remember I said take Strider for nine or more Ks. Well, he had nine Ks in the first three innings. Yep, nine Ks and nine outs. I thought back to our interview when Strider told me that success was getting 27 outs with 27 Ks. And for a second, I thought he was going to do it. Success is striking out every batter on three pitches and throwing an 81 pitch perfect game of 27 strikeouts. That's success. It's possible. I can do that theoretically. If I ever do, man, you're never going to hear the end of me. But just an unhittable combination of upper 90s, 100 mile an hour fastballs and vicious sliders. Here's an overlay of his fastball and slider combination. You can see what makes this so tough to hit. The slider starts off the plate and breaks back to the zone. And then that fastball stays out of the zone. But they look the same when you have to decide when to swing. Strider also amazingly got a hitter to bail on a slider that ended up almost middle-middle. Freaking awesome. I can watch this dude pitch all day, and he's got to be a front runner for the rookie of the year this year. Before we get to my filthiest relievers, yes, I interviewed Nolan Ryan yesterday. And forget standing 60 feet 6 inches away from him. He's intimidating over Zoom. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Jorge Lopez had this sick breaking ball. Alex Lang had this absolute filth. Nabil Krismat had these disgusting change-ups. John Schreiber and Alex Fessia both were electric factories. I want a little bobblehead of these guys on my desk to get me fired up on those days when I need an extra boost of energy. Kind of like a Red Bull or smelling salts. <laughs> Wandy Peralta had this wicked messing with timing. I overlaid these two windups so you can see how different they were. Clay Holmes had these mean sinkers and has the lowest Yankee ERA in history before the All Star break. And yep, that includes Mariano Rivera. Michael King had this amazing breaking ball that had 22 inches of break. That thing needs a freaking blinker. But my filthiest reliever yesterday was Jordan Hicks. Hicks threw the fastest pitch in the major leagues this year at 103.8 miles an hour. What makes it even more amazing is this two-seamer ran 17 inches. 
And yes, Ozuna fouled it back, but it was middle-middle. Hicks took a little off the next pitch and only hit 103 with it and got the K. Hicks is more than just that ungodly fastball. He also has a totally vicious slider. And now, my moment of zen. It's Spencer Strider concentrating on a few grains of dirt from the mound. This helps him with his focus. Or, as I like to think about it, he's holding hitters' minuscule chances against him in his fingertips and throwing them away. What is up, Ninja Nation? My pick of the day today is for Charlie Morton to have 10 or more Ks. To me, I think that line is really attractive. Morton's had 10 or more Ks in three of his last five outings and has been pitching great. So, can he get 10 or more today? Yeah, I think he can. What would your pick of the day be?